Hi everyone, um, welcome to my foster channel, this is Maria. Today is 22nd of November, we have a beautiful sunny morning here in Cyprus. And I just felt like uh, filming a video for you. Guys, I know that uh, I haven't been on YouTube for a while now, but um, well, I was working mostly on the same project all this time. I was working on my um, Ukrainian traditional shirt. Um, it's uh, very important for me right now to do something that is uh, closely related and connected to my country. So I thought that maybe it's, you know, it's not going to be very interesting for you to observe again and again how I do the same project. So I stopped filming for a while, but now I feel like uh, actually doing something else. Uh, because the Christmas is coming and it always puts me into this mood, you know, to do Christmas projects. I think I'm not the only one. And I remembered this year that um, last year I actually started one of the felt projects. Because as you remember, last year I had like a massive hole from one to three stitch where I bought uh, several, I think like four or five different um, Christmas kits. There were like four stockings and one ornament kit. And I started one stocking with a snowman. So I remembered about it this year and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna continue it. I'm gonna finish it by St. Nicholas Day. Uh, and here in Cyprus, we celebrate St. Nicholas Day on the 6th of December. Traditionally, uh, back in Ukraine, we celebrate on the 19th of December just because of this difference in calendars. So, uh, and back in Ukraine, I found my presence underneath my pillow. So, and it's, it's usually, so for St. Nick's, we don't give any big presents. It's usually something small, something that can literally fit under your pillow. Something like, um, I remember I got, uh, I don't know, I don't know why, but this was like the most memorable present. I remember I got my first lip gloss under pillow. My mom gave it to me as a present. Well, obviously it was St. Nick at that time. So yeah, it's a, like nice, just pleasant, small gifts and sweets obviously too. But, you know, time changes. I really love the, the whole idea and tradition of Christmas stockings, and it's very closely related to the story of Saint Nick. Um, so I decided to finish this, the Christmas stocking for my daughter uh, by December 6. There are like two weeks left, and I have to finish the whole work on the felt, and also I want to finish it with nice fabric. So that is going to take some time too. So I have a big project to work on. This is where I am right now. This is how it looks. It looks very, very cute. And I'm really happy with how it turns out. Let me show it to you closely. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Close up. Oops. Sorry. Um, yes. I did everything by instruction, except I added a little piece of cardboard into this present. And there's going to be two of them. So this one and this one. I'm going to add the piece, a little piece of cardboard here as well. Uh, why? I just thought that because a lot of it is sticking out and you don't actually stuff it. You don't put any stuffing inside. It might not keep the shape. I think like this, it's very nice and structured. I'm, I might just a little bit perfectionistic <laughs> I don't know my favorite element of this stocking is the scarf love it it was a lot of work it took me like several hours to do this when you look at them at the Busilla felt kits you think oh my god it's easy I'm gonna just it's gonna take me one week to finish it all but at the end of the day no it actually is a lot of work but the time flies when you're doing them. There's a pom-pom and there is his face. I finished it yesterday. His face, nose and, and his hat and I even blushed his cheeks. Really inspires me this project. So what I have left here is I need to add this bird. I already have it ready. I need to add the arm and the hand and another hand here. One gift and one and another bird. And also in this kit, we have this ornament, a complementary ornament, and I'm going to do it as well, because if I don't, if I just uh, postpone this, I will never do it. So I might as well just 
finalize it now. And this week I'm gonna go hunting to the fabric store to find some kind of a cool fabric to finish it because I don't wanna just um, do the felt back as is suggested by the kit. Really pretty. I love, I love it. Um, another project I've been working on uh, this past week was this little one by Blackbird Designs. Let me show you the preview. This is the preview. I just realized that you cannot see the top of my head, which should be weird all the Okay, so this is the preview. It's called It's Spring Fever, and uh, the serious name is Loose Feathers. Yeah, for the birds. This is how it's gonna look like when it's finished. And this is how it looks like now. Very pretty color, sorry that it's all wrinkled, but you know, still pretty, even wrinkled. I actually used, as you can see, these hoops by Nuge to stitch it. They're very small, but uh, it's very convenient. You can carry it anywhere. It takes like literally nothing, <laughs> the space, and uh, very convenient. If you need to go somewhere, you can always put it in your bag, even in the smallest purse, it fits. And let me know, let me know in the comments down below if you also carry your stitching with you, even if there is like no chance in the world that you're gonna end up stitching it, <laughs> you still have to kiss like my security blanket. Yeah, so. This is what it looks like. Okay, I'm not gonna do the close up, so just gonna show you like this. Very pretty one. Love stitching the bird. The border is very nice. Love it. It's a beautiful project. I'm doing this for my dad. He would like it. He would have liked it. Tequila. Tequila. Um, and I'm gonna show you right now the final kind of contestant for my attention um, is my shirt. So this is the sleeve. Sorry that it's in Q snaps. I'm not gonna take it out. Um, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna take a picture or a video when I move the. That's tequila. Tequila. Um, so this is what it looks like. This is the border. So this is going to be near the actual like, sleeve part and then all the way up. And this border is going to be connected to the uh, main part. So this is the sleeve. Uh, shoo! The cat came in. Sorry, I just had a visitor. <laughs> I'm called for visitor. And massive brace yourselves so this is the main part this is what it looks like in front and this is what it looks like in the back because there is stitching also in the back there it is still has the stitching like the um i don't know how to say that it's just like a support for me to make everything aligned like support stitches, but I'm gonna um, definitely remove them when it's done. So there you go. This is how it looks like. A lot of work here. Six months of work. Six months of working only on this, mostly. It was hard not only to stitch it, but also to kind of measure it and uh, cut the fabric, realize where you have to place which part it's hard and i'm gonna show you right now i'm not sure that i showed it before but this is the thread which you use so this is the width of the thread and actually one of the reasons why i started stitching something else my fingers started hurting me because my thumb actually on this uh, hand because when you are pulling this thread through murana fabric this is a uh, 32 count fabric uh, so when you're pulling this it actually requires a lot of force to kind of push pull it 
through so uh, my fingers started aching and I realized that I really need to switch to something else like you know diversify a little bit my stitching portfolio so yeah um, and so this, these are the projects I'm working on right now um, I will be this is like an introductory piece uh, I think going forward I'll be just doing um, more or less the weekly updates this is uh, like the idea uh, but also the last piece of this video will be my update on um, just a small update on the situation in my country right now uh, how my family is and everyone so uh, right now because of the massive um, attacks that took place in October and November and massive attacks on the energy system of Ukraine um, I think like 40-50% of it are down right now so all my friends and family um, in Kiev are sitting without light I think more time that they're that they have light they they actually don't have it so they um, the light the, the whole basically the whole energy the whole electricity not not just light but also um, like water uh, hot water and uh, their cookers are also electric very few people have uh, gas cookers but I guess those who have were really lucky right now um, so most of my friends and family have electric cookers, so uh, the electricity is off most time of the day, but they do have like uh, five hours here and there when they uh, get uh, electricity connected. And all of them are very, are very brave, they're very strong, and they say that they'd rather have no electricity and no light, um, no heat, than be... Uh, then give up basically then surrender and i'm with them uh, yeah so that's kind of the situation for now um thank you all for your attention for your views i hope that you'll see more of me and i hope to see all of you in the comments um see you and um i'm gonna be i'm not saying goodbye because i'm gonna be filming more videos this week yes decided to show you my uh, Borshi shirt close up. So this is the front part and you can see how thick is the thread and how close each stitch is to another. And here is the beautiful central part collar I'm gonna show you also the back part because it's worth it. <laughs> um, beautiful, beautiful. Not very humble, but it is what it is. And just wanted to tell, talk to you a little bit about the meaning of this uh, shirt for me right now. Um, I don't know how it is for you, but I'm pretty sure that all the stitchers are the same. When you look at your finished project, especially if it's a big one, you always remember um, what you were feeling in that moment, uh, what was happening in your life, what were your thoughts of uh, when you were stitching it, what you were reading, what you were listening to, which movies or series you were watching. At least for me, it's exactly like that. And this shirt, certainly it's not an easy one in, a, in any sense. It has a lot of meaning to it. It's uh, like, uh, you know, I compared it when I was talking to uh, my Ukrainian uh, subscribers and friends. I, I explained it to them that it's like it, it's about the force of, uh, of spirit, the force of will, um, the fight. Um, and uh, it, it's like an armor. And I guess uh, when I finish it, it's, it's going to be like an armor for me. Um, obviously not in literal sense, but in this, you know, spiritual sense. And uh, I really, I hoped that I would be able to finish it by Christmas, but now I realize that it's not going to happen um, because I still need to finish one sleeve and to do the whole other sleeve. So right now I changed my plan to just finish one sleeve until Christmas and then I'm going to continue working on the other one um, just because uh, right now I realize that I, ca I cannot do just this one project. I need to 
have other projects in my life. I'm having right now a very uh, difficult time at work. I have a lot of work. Um, and uh, I need, when I do spend some time with my hobby, I do want to get all the endorphins <laughs> possible, <laughs> dopamines and <laughs> everything uh, from it. Uh, so I need to have different projects right now at the moment. Hi everyone, today is Wednesday and here is the progress that I made yesterday. I actually was working on this project a little bit in the evening after work and I managed to stitch like a couple of leaves here. I was watching friends too and you see how actually it differs from the preview we have here on the chart. The colors are brighter even though I follow the cold for floss and the fabric well fabric is different but still you can see that the colors actually are brighter than we have in preview i think they just use some kind of a effect on the picture so yeah here is where i'm at Very pretty leaves, berries, or flowers. I don't know, Look, looks more like berries, honestly, to tell you. Hi, everyone. It's still Wednesday. It's 4 p.m. And I didn't manage to stitch anything, obviously, until now. I just came back from work. I was working in the co-working today. And um, when I was filming my morning happy sort of chirpy video, uh, little did I know that um, Russia is gonna shell and bomb the whole territory of Ukraine and that I will be just observing uh, and texting my friends and relatives. Mm, so now um, the city of Kiev is without power and partially without water. So yeah, it's kind of a hard moment and uh, I keep on texting and uh, calling. Um, I think so far a couple of people haven't replied, but I hope that everything is okay with them. And uh, yeah, so I'll keep you posted if I manage to stitch something today or not. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday. No, Thursday, 24th of November. Or for some reason, I thought it was Friday. Um, they cut off the electricity in our house, actually on our street. And there is going to be a storm. Uh, so yeah, not fun after yesterday. So I did manage to um, connect with all my family back in Ukraine. Uh, very happy about it. I was uh, very anxious, especially because I could not reach my brother, but uh, everything is okay. Um, they don't have water, light or heating in their house, but it's, uh, they, um, got uh, some water beforehand because uh, they knew the situation could happen, right? So I think they're good for now. Um, so today is a new day. And actually yesterday I managed in the very evening when I got a bit calmer, um, I made this arm, the snowman. It's very pretty. It's actually like you, you're not supposed to stitch it all the way. You can Hello, snowman. <laughs> and also I stitched this birdie here. I'm really liking it. And now I need to add this gift and a little bird here and, and also stitch the band with a name and it will be ready. Also, I've been itching to start a new project, the big, big project. So if I do, uh, if I do manage to start it, I'm gonna share with you, obviously. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see because I have a lot of things that I'm working on currently. So maybe I will kind of compose myself. Also, mm, I saw that there are some uh, Black Friday discounts on the Heritage Craft website. And I really want to buy some charts with John Clayton circles. However, from what I understood, they may not deliver to Cyprus. They don't explicitly say this on their internet site, but uh, there is a risk. So I'm going to call them 
like I want them so much that I'm gonna call to UK and ask them if they will deliver it to Cyprus and how much it's gonna cost because if the delivery is crazy then sorry but I'm not gonna get them but um yeah so I'm gonna keep you posted and now I really need to go and walk my dog because literally the clouds are almost like dark gray and uh, yeah I need to hurry if I don't want to walk her under the rain so I'll see you later I wanted to share one life hack that I created when I was working on this gift here. I added a piece of um, thick paper inside. I cut it out uh, in the shape of this gift and put it inside so it actually hold, so it holds the shape uh, better because um, according to the instruction you are not supposed to stuff the gifts. You're, you're just um, sewing them together and you are... Um, attaching them to the stocking. However, when I did it, I noticed that it like, lost its shape a little bit. So right now I'm working on this gift and I'm gonna show you how I, exactly how I um, figured it out and I, how I um, fixed the issue with it not holding shape very well. So I cut out a piece of thick paper. It's not a cardboard, it's just thick paper. I don't want it to be too kind of rough there. So I cut it out a little bit smaller than the piece of the felt that I have in the back. And here's the piece I have on the front. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stitch it as usual. And it's very hard to do it with one hand, but yeah, it's like that. So several hours later, the whole front of the stocking is finished. I, uh, so today I did his hand, uh, this little bird, the gift, and I attached this band here on top with Alessia's name. It is very pretty and it lifts my mood so much, especially now it's raining, there is no sun and this little snowman is just smiling and um, immediately I smile at him. So, so cute. You know what I'm thinking? Uh, I tried to count the days that it took me to kind of reach this point. Um, I think it took me around 10, um, 10, how to say, like 10 approaches. <laughs> Um, I cannot say ten days because I didn't, I didn't work on it like every time a full eight hours or so, but I think in it's very possible to finish it in a couple of weeks. So if somebody has stocking from Bisila in their stash, um, I think you have a good chance of starting it, finishing it, and like finishing it into the stocking. Um, by Christmas time. If you want to see the back, by the way, let me show you the back. Here's how the back looks. So you can see some of um, I, uh, where I, I attach the individual elements. You can see it from the back, but mostly I'd say that it's rather tidy. I had worse. Yeah, pretty, happy. Very, very nice. I even had this crazy thought of starting another another stocking for this Christmas. I don't know. Really pretty, but I haven't done the small one, the ornament, so I'll do that too. But I think uh, tomorrow or on Saturday, I'm going to go to the fabric store to try and pick up the fabric to finish it. I don't want to use the felt that came in the kit. I want to make it usable. I want to make it so that you can actually use it and not destroy it. Yeah, very pretty. So today is Saturday and yesterday and Friday I was working only on this shirt. I will uh, insert right now the picture of how it looked like before I started on it. But basically I managed to stitch like half of this flower 
and this little something. I'm thinking maybe it's some kind of a bird, I don't know. But very, very little. I had um, not a very productive stitching day yesterday. In general, this week was not very productive stitching-wise. But anyway, it's life. Different weeks, different days, right? It's unpredictable and we love it because of that. So today we actually decorated our Christmas tree. I did so much cooking <laughs> and finally <laughs> I got to the evening. My husband is putting Alessia to sleep and I can relax with some stitching. And I will show you what I have, what, what idea I have. So dear friends, you will not believe it, but I am planning to start this kit. This is Gold Collection by Dimensions. I really was itching <laughs> to start Dimensions kit, a big one. And I am so looking forward to opening it now. Hello, you can see my reflection there. Yeah, let's open and see what's inside. Let's look together a little bit at the preview. You can see the beautiful, beautiful scene. Very like it says here, winter's hush, everyone is at home, there is light in every window, people are celebrating most probably, it's cold, it's snowy, the dogs are playing outside, and this little house, I mean, it's just beautiful how it almost glows in the dark. Such a beautiful design and I'm gonna have so much fun hopefully stitching it. I see a lot of backstitch here on the trees, here in the bushes, here too, and French knots, obviously, because the snow is falling down. The finished design will be 40 by 25 centimeters. It's stitched, let's see what it's stitched on, on the 16 count gray Ada. Very pretty. Just look at how much floss it comes with. So there are two organizers here. And all of this came separately, mostly blues, all the different shades of blue. Hi friends, uh, today's Sunday, right now it's Sunday evening, and I'm ready to kind of make some conclusions of this uh, cross-stitching week. Um, as you can see, I'm about to embark on a new <laughs> journey, on a new cross-stitching project. I yesterday I didn't even manage to do one stitch on it because all my time was spent on the preparation. I do like to prepare the process, the whole cross stitching process, uh, to make it as comfortable for me as possible. And what I love to do, you will understand right now why it took me so much time. So first of all, I prepared my um, my fabric. As you can see, it's a bit wrinkled right now, but you will understand why. So first of all, I actually put a stitching on the fringe so it doesn't uh, fray. Then I did some stitching to find the middle and then I made like uh, borders of the project so I can see it and I can start anywhere I want, right? Uh, there is no room for mistake here so because everything is very, you can see like where every corner you can stitch from here, from here, from here, wherever you want. That's very important for me. I like it like that. I also prepared my hoops um, I like to stitch with hoops. Maybe I will switch to Q-snaps from time to time, but for now it's hoops. And I um, rinsed it a little bit in the water. I did, so the shade that you see right now is just a shade, right? Because I have the lamp that is uh, on. It's on my right side right now. So it makes a little bit a weird uh, effect. Like it's uh, almost, almost like it's uh, some kind of over dyed fabric, but it's not. Um, and so I rinsed it in the lukewarm water just to make it a bit um, uh, softer and it worked. So it did make it a bit softer, but not completely soft. So I wonder, maybe I had to, um, to keep it there in the water for a bit longer or use some kind of mild detergent. But um, anyway, I will not change it right now. I think for now, um, I actually succeeded. <laughs> to make it a bit softer to the point that I can put it in the hoops and it doesn't feel like paper, but it's it still has some kind of um, structure to it. 
because I don't like it when it's like completely soft. So that's about the fabric. And then what I did with the floss. So I sorted it. I put it on the bobbins. Um, the idea behind it is that I like to stitch from the bobbins. I use one or two needles. I don't do a lot of needles and I really don't like that much the organizers that like a Paco organizer you know when you have a lot of needles a lot of floss and all the floss is hanging because I have so many projects in the work and um, uh, for me the storage is a like a kind of sore spot <laughs> I don't have much sp space to uh, store everything I don't have like a cross stitching room so um, I always I'm kind of in 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 search of the place of the uh, of the space where to store everything so i really like this kind of uh, organization because you can just put all the bobbins if you for example put the project on hold you can just put all the bobbins in the nice little bag and then that's it right you, you fold the fabric you put the bobbins you don't need to store a big massive organizer and uh, here as you can see the logic is like that. Here I put the symbol, the number of the thread is on the right top corner. And then here at the bottom, I write that it's cross and it's stitched with two threads, right? For the half cross, I just leave one line like that. And then there is also another, uh, so I do the, uh, the blends where you use uh, two, uh, one floss from one color, for example, or two flosses from the other color, like here. I mark them with the black here on top so that I know that it's a blend and I write here the num the number of the color and the number of floss that I use. And this is the logic. Uh, overall there are 31 colors, uh, solid colors in this design. There are 8 blends from them. Um, there are 9 colors of backstitch and in total we have here 35,000 stitches. That's uh, taking in consideration the French knots, the back stitch, half stitch, and cross stitch, right? So altogether, it's thirty-five thousand stitches. I know that because I downloaded the chart for Saga. Yes, I have. So here is the chart, the original chart. I'm not gonna show it just because of the intellectual property. Um, but I did download the um, um, chart for Saga. That's the so software I use. That like the app. On my phone and on my iPad, I do find it's very comfortable to use it. I don't know the quality of the, ch the this specific chart. Uh, it was not me who did it, so I'm gonna check if it's a good quality. And if it is, if everything seems correct, I'm just gonna use that. Um, it's convenient for me to use it. I do love the uh, charts from Dimensions. They are very easy to follow, but still, with Saga is it's still more convenient. And in this case, like I do um, support a lot kind of um, using the software, the apps um, to make it more convenient for the stitchers um, to work, right? I do not certainly encourage any kind of um, uh, intellectual property rights violations. I uh, just download the charts of the, um, of the designs of the kits that I own or um, those ones, very rare ones that I want to stitch that are, for example, out of production. So sometimes I do that as well, but um, I'll normally no. Um, I'm just uh, downloading those that I already have um, in kits or I purchased um, the charts. Um, yeah, so I think this is a good conclusion for the cross-stitching week. Um, I'm very happy to be back. Thank you so much for being with me. And you will see the first crosses on this project in my next cross-stitching week. Um, thank you so much and see you soon.